And the angel of the Lord stood in the way of an adversary against him. In other words, God was mad. He was not happy. And he said, and the angel of the Lord stood in the way of an adversary against him. The Lord stood in the way of a person that God was angry with, and they needed to get his attention. God needed to get the attention of this person because he was not happy with him. Now he was riding up on his ass. So the person that he was trying to get attention was riding on. And my Bible says his ass. And his two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way. And his word drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And that Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. And when I read that verse, I thought, oh my Lord, Balaam is, 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 Balaam is the, um, is the leadership. Hmm. Balaam is the leadership of the church. Balaam is the leadership of the people. But he did not do something in, in this verse up above it that made God mad at him. We have preachers today that do not hear the voice of God and can't see him. We have Balaams in the church that's trying to do what God wants them to do. And they have no idea what's going on in their own self. Mm. Amen? Man. I'm not oh. talking about <laughs> others. I'm talking about me because I was a Balaam at one time. Yeah. I thought I knew it all. I thought I heard the voice of God. I thought, I thought I knew I could walk in that way. But little did I know that I was not pleasing God until God had to come around and get my attention. Yes. And so this is what he's That's doing to Balaam. And he said, lovely father to a child. And, he, and the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way. And his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. I was that at one time. I didn't see God. And the people that I thought didn't know nothing. The alcoholics. The drug people, the prostitutes, the abusers. I want to talk about abusers, them that abuse their wife, them that abuse their husbands. All of them are the ones, and let me tell you right now, that there are the ones that God is calling. Amen? <laughs> yes. God is calling these kind of yes. people. He's here for God the sick. wants these people. And they're the ones that's going to see God. We got too many Balaams in the church that they, they, they know it all. You can't tell them nothing because they don't know it. But when he, this, this, this animal that Balaam's riding on, he saw the angel of the Lord. Now the man of God didn't see him. And he was already upset because his animal was not going in the direction that he wanted to. So he hid him. He hid him out of anger to make her go another way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path at the vineyards, a wall being on one side and, on, and a wall on, on that side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam foot against the wall and he smote her again. A lot of times we go up and we try to tell our leadership, God is speaking to me. God is trying to tell me to do this. God has directed me to do that. And it crushes their spirit. They'll come up and say, I feel I need to move on to another church or my ministry needs to go beyond this. And that pastor gets upset saying, well, you better be sure it's of God. Because he did not see the angel standing in the way. Amen? 
Mm. He did not see the angel guarding the way because that Lord was trying to get Balaam's attention and Balaam didn't see him. Mm. But this animal saw the angel of the Lord. And as the Bible would say, the ass saw the angel of the Lord. Amen? Amen. That's what it says. So when I look at that, I think, <laughs> you know what? I had to become this animal in order to see the Lord. Hmm. Because if I stayed as Balaam, I would have known, not known the direction of God. So humble ourselves. And he 